The realm's gateway offering, the Eve. Go to Sangonomiya Shrine and look for Kokomi. Learning that the Watasumi Goryo Matsuri was successful, co successfully conducted, you prepare to go pay Kokomi a visit. Hey. This is the correspondence from Stingray 3. Your Excellency, the situation is extremely serious. Okay, well, that doesn't sound promising. Thank you, Ueno. Inform Swordfish 1 to stand by. I'll see to the wounded shortly. Hi, Kokomi. Uh, Captain of Swordfish Your personal too. energy recharger Glad is back. Glad to have you back on Watatsumi Island. I would have liked to have given you a grand reception, but as you can see... What's going on? Not long ago, I hosted the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri. It's the most important ceremony on Watatsumi Island. I'm guessing you'll have heard about it from Tsuyuko? What? How did you know we were the ones helping out Tsuyuko this whole time? <clears throat> I'd be more surprised if you didn't know. is one of the How more conscientious shrine maidens of Sangonomiya. I knew that handing off the planning of the ceremony to her would play to her strengths. Based on her description of the person who took the commission, it was quite obviously you. This is all starting to sound pretty suspicious. Anyway, I'm sure it's you will have told that you now, that the Watatsumi Goryo ceremony is a ceremony to reverse the holy soil phenomenon on Watatsumi Island. It's a bleaching process that slowly turns the earth holy soil to holy phenomenon? soil, leaving the land infertile and devastating agricultural production. Granted, crops aren't our staple food on Watatsumi Island, but I can't allow external forces to drastically alter the people's diet, and we certainly shouldn't be overly reliant on imports. Uh, Hyman doesn't quite follow. Imagine all you had to eat from now on was radishes. No more fish or meat. Clearer now? <laughs> Opposite that day, there's something Paimon can follow. The issue began with the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri. I did not miss a single step during the ritual, and there's no question that the blood branch coral you retrieved was infused with the Omikami's power. But it didn't reverse the holy soil phenomenon as expected. Mm. Instead, it just. paused. This has never happened before in history. This is ultimately a matter of Watatsumi Island's survival. So I sent as many people as I could spare to Enkanomiya to investigate the situation. The news from Stingray 3 was that all of Enkanomiya is engulfed in a darkness that cannot be dispelled. Additionally, there have also been reports of monsters, mm -hmm. the likes of which no one has ever seen before. Strange monsters and Shadow Hoss. No engulfing darkness? That's all that Stingray 3 has reported. Their investigation the otherwise has yielded no useful information, and the unforgiving environment has caused many casualties so far. I have sent several rescue teams already, but so far, the situation does not look promising. It brings me no pleasure to have to ask, but on behalf of all of Watatsumi Island, I beseech you, please, lend us your assistance one more time. Anything please for you, ma'am. don't joke around. But thank you for once again agreeing to put your life on the line for the sake of our island. Now, please, As come always. with me to meet Tsuyuko. Are we going down to Enkonomiya? A Fortic Diffusal. Your Excellency, Traveler, I did wonder. Hope you're both having a wonderful day so far. Whoa, oh, oh, see you go. How'd you catch on to that so fast? Um, <coughs> nope, I'm kidding. <clears throat> Cut the comedy, Tsuyuko, or I may have to have you and Naki switch posts next year. In which case, you'll be in charge of Spectre Eco Management on Watatsumi Island. Oh, no God. Need. No need, I'll stop. So, since the two of you are here together, I assume it's about Enkanomiya? How can we fill this in on what's been going on? Hmm, Kokomi. <laughs> Be very careful of your word choices, Yukai. You might lose your occupation. Right. Well, as I'm sure Her Excellency has told you, an ominous darkness has completely engulfed in Kanomiya. At the same time, strange humanoid monsters have appeared when the place should be completely deserted. Humanoid monsters? Armor that Shadow can move hosts. on its own. 
I know it sounds ridiculous, but we're not talking about one spook soldier hallucinating in the darkness. All the wounded who returned to Sangonomia have described seeing the same thing. On top of this, even ordinary enemies seem to grow much stronger in the darkness. That's why Stingray 3 has sustained so many casualties. There's one other thing that the returning soldiers have mentioned. They say a shrine maiden who calls herself Sumi has been helping to treat the wounded. Sumi? Hmm. I don't recall there being any record of a shrine maiden by that name in Sangonomiya. That's the thing. There isn't one. But she held something called a Sento ceremony, which managed to keep a small area in the very center of Enkanomiya brightly lit. Thanks to her, the wounded soldiers have a safe zone where they can recuperate. Does... Why didn't I just not work there? Sento. Hmm. I've seen this term in the Deep Sea Healing Arts Compendium. But it's a ceremony that only works in Enkanomiya. So it was never brought to Atatsumi Island. I'd love to meet this Tsumi. But right now, helping the wounded has to be my top priority. Your Excellency. Even if you had no duties at all right now, there's still no way we'd let you go down there. Enkanomiya is exceedingly dangerous right now. Only pre-eminent warriors like the Traveler and Paimon should venture there. Mm -hmm. Yep, absolutely. Leave it to us. This is a job only we can handle. Suiko, you really get Paimon. <laughs> We've worked together plenty of times in the past, after all. Mm -hmm. Do you have any other information about Tsumi? It was mentioned that she wears a strange mask that covers the upper half of her face. A masked shrine maiden, half of her face. Oh, interesting. What is she trying to hide? Hmm. Your Excellency, in my humblest of opinions, Sumi has shown nothing but goodwill so far. Since the situation is so critical, we don't have the resources to make other defense arrangements and cast suspicion on our allies. Hmm. I see what you mean. I have instructed Swordfish One to proceed to Enkanomiya and continue evacuating the wounded. What's Swordfish One? Traveler, you can go with them. Swordfish One will escort you to the camp at the center of Enkanomiya. Also, please, take this with you. This? What's this? Looks like a missing piece of something. It's just a little trinket. When you are faced with a difficult choice, it might be able to help you. Your Excellency. Uh, but isn't that... Watatsumi Island doesn't need it anymore. Besides, both of the other two pieces are in Enkanomiya. If we're lucky enough, this could be our chance to reunite them. What is it exactly? Understood, Your Excellency. Okay. Emergency measures to hold the Three Realms Gateway offering now underway. Hmm. I apologize for the trouble. Now please excuse me. I need to tend to the wounded. Please, see Ueno once you're ready. Spectre Eco Management. I hear Liyue has a program to get rid of rats, cockroaches, flies, and barnacles. Spectre Eco Management must be the same kind of thing. Oh yeah, but like a, a billion times more tougher. Are you ready to venture into the Dark Shroud of Enconomia? Yes. You break through the darkness with Swordfish One and arrive at the Dainichi Mikoshi. Oh. What does Enkonomia look like now? Whoa. Here's hoping I have the chance. The chance to do what? Next year? I'm going to apply for Swordfish 1 to be redeployed into Spectre Management. Because if it's that, or spend more time in Enconomia, I'll take my chance with the Spectres. Jesus. Those armor monsters closing in on you. It's the stuff nightmares are made of. I totally understand. I wouldn't want to face Dark Soul monsters anyway, either. Anyway, we should be safe for now. There shouldn't be any more danger from here on out. And he's the leader. God. Hey, what's up? Hi. It's Yabe. The Yabe. Yard guy from Stingray 3. You seem kinda chipper compared to all the other soldiers.
Tigers. Do I? <laughs> well, I've pretty much always loved horror stories and ghost stories and stuff ever since I was a kid. This trip oh. to Enconomia is something else, though. Totally mind-blowing. You sound Super fun. Static. 10 out of 10 would come again. <laughs> I mean, it's pretty sweet to have the chance to come to Enconomia. I actually kind of wanted to look into the Bunkoku puzzle while I'm here. It's the first of the four great puzzles of Enconomia. Yeah, please don't do that. We're the ones that'll have to come rescue you. <sighs> Never mind that. There's a makeshift camp at the top of those steps over there. Yeah, you should head up and catch some rest if you haven't been there yet. Mm-hmm. All right. Hey, look! A shrine made of cake from care of the wounded! That must be Sumi, right? Should be. Half masked. You are different from all the others. Are you human? I think we are. Well, she is, obviously. Just not a native of Watatsumi Island, that's all. And you? A human hatchling? <laughs> Oh, really? Because I thought that humans lose the ability to fly when they reach adulthood. Just like the Bethysmal bishops lose the ability to see in color when they reach maturity. I'm sorry, what? Sumi, you seem to know a lot about bishops. Wait, how do you know my name? Oh, the wounded soldiers mentioned you. Oh. We came to investigate the dark. Greetings, my name is Ueno, acting captain of Swordfish One. We're here to evacuate the wounded and support the Traveler's investigation. Swordfish One needs to rest and reorganize before commencing the evacuation. I'll see you later. So you're here to help resolve this, hmm? Very well. It's taking all the energy I have to keep this light shining. I don't have the strength to try and combat the spreading darkness, too. Uh, do you understand what's going on? The Void Realm is invading. The people of Byaku Yakoku believe that there are three realms. The Bishop Realm, the Human Realm, and the Void Realm. The darkness spreading in Enkonomiya comes from the Void Abyss. Neither bishops nor humans can endure it. But don't Bethysmal bishops like the dark? No. They hate the light. But only because down here in the depths, the presence of light signifies human activity. In fact, the Bishop Realm is the realm of pure, primordial, elemental beings. It's actually referred to as the Light Realm in most books. The Seven Sovereigns of the Light Realm are the seven foremost elemental dragons at the pinnacle of the raw and primitive elemental forces. So that's why Suyuko called this the Three Realms Gateway Offering. Three Realms Gateway Offering. Not far off the mark, actually. But technically, I think it should be called the Triangle Gateway Offering. Because the source of the darkness from the void is the three towers at the corners of Enkonomiya's triangular borders. Oh, the three towers! The ones where we did those trials! You've been there before? Oh, uh, yeah. It's a long story. Oh. By the way, Sumi, what's up with the weird mask? Oh, yeah. To hide my face. It has to do with some things that happened as I was growing up. I just don't want to scare anyone. That's all. Well, that mask is kind of creepy. Does that make me untrustworthy in your eyes? No. You look kind of cool. No, not at all. You've been helping the wounded all this time. Everyone must be super grateful to you. It's just that... I don't want to see another one mask shred and disappear. I don't want to be betrayed again. Can't say I really understand what you're talking about. Right, you anyway, probably don't know Kazar. if you want to rid this darkness from Enkonomiya, you can come to me for guidance. Of course, if you can trust me. Well, I'm going too, inside to tend to the, the wounded being. and check in with the new arrivals. Please excuse me. After she's finished speaking, Sumi heads to an inner room. Hello, what can I help you with? Hi there! We wanted to ask you what 
you know about the mass shrine maiden, Sumi? I see, I see. What are you looking to know exactly? I've tried asking if she's seeing anyone, you know, or whether she's looking right now, but she seems pretty tight-lipped about her love life. Um... That's not what we meant at all. Okay. Uh, uh, we were more wondering... Do you think I'm sorry, like... suspicious about her? Being in this current situation, and then we question about Sumi's whereabouts, the first thing that came to your mind was that... relationships. Really? Suspicious, huh? No wonder you were losing Suspicious, against the Shokun. The unknowable, the unpredictable, unexplored territory. Mysterious? Enigmatic? Enchanting? Bewitching? Compelling? Addicting? Yeah. Know what I'm saying? Is he also part of the Stingray 3 squad? I am being serious. Okay, look. If I had to pick one thing about her that's suspicious, I'd say, okay, two things. Number one, her mask. It's pretty scary. I don't know why she chose it. Hmm. Number two, some kind of pendant fell out of her sleeve when she was bandaging me up. It looked like it was a broken off piece of something. So maybe when you put them together, it makes a hole. Hmm. Huh. Maybe the other half is held by Sumi's lifelong sweetheart. Did she just did she did Paimon just wheeze? <laughs> I'm pretty sure I heard Paimon just wheeze. Greetings. Hello, we'd like to ask you about the mask shrine maiden Sumi. Give us some useful info, please. Because of her strange mask? Well, you've come to the right person. Cool. I was one of the first people that she rescued. Mm -hmm. Straight away, I thought there was something very weird going on. Who is this shrine maiden who knows the lost ceremonies of Enkanomiya? And why is she covering her face with a mask? Mm -hmm. So I started pestering her about it. I wasn't going to let up until I got an answer. Okay. And? There weren't so many people around at the time, so eventually she let me look behind the mask. It was actually pretty normal for the most part. Okay. There's just one thing she's trying to hide. That is? Her eyes have snake-like pupils. Thin oh. vertical lines. Is that you, Chang Sung? Weren't you scared? I probably would have been if every Watatsumi Islander wasn't so familiar with our legends, or, or I should say, our history. The first familiars of the Watatsumi Omikami were the vassals of Watatsumi. Legend has it that they are a half human, half snake kind who helped our ancestors fight back the Bathysmal bishops. Mm -hmm. They were said to have disappeared long ago. But then Sumi showed up. And as soon as I saw her snake eyes, I instinctively trusted her. It's like the vassals have returned to help us in our moment of need. Huh. Snake people. I'm no expert by any means, but I think Tsumi can girls. be trusted. I'm, I'm sorry, I'm kidding. I don't think we've got enough answers now. Let's find somewhere to recap what we know so far. Tsumi's just inside the room. It'd be a bit awkward if she hears us talking about her behind her back. So, how's it going? Have you made a decision? I... still think... Nothing wrong with that. Even if you're just too afraid to venture out, no one can blame you. We aren't pussies. We walked away off the chat. As Master Ukwe once said, um... Brave something... Uh, I, I, I... Sumi's mm. mask hides her snake eyes, which the people of Watatsumi Island believe to be a distinguishing feature of Orobaxi's vassals. Orobaxi's? Orobashi? Based on her actions, or... it seems like all she wants to do is protect the people of Watatsumi Island. Mm. And from what she said, she's doing everything she can to combat the darkness spreading in Enkanomiya. Mm. So she seems pretty trustworthy. I agree. And let's go talk to her together so how's it going have you made a decision yep let's team up to tackle the darkness okay then take this it's called the bokuso box i found it in the dainichi mikoshi when i was looking for a solution actually 
The Dainichi Makoshi was where I found the method and tools for the Sento ceremony. Lucky I can read human writing. Uh, why wouldn't you be able to? Or did you mean it's lucky that you can read the ancient Enkanamian script? Oh, uh, nothing. I just meant the script in the Deep Sea Healing Arts Compendium. I don't actually know if it's ancient or modern. I'm getting more confused the more you try to explain. Never mind all that. Let's get back to business. The Bokuso box collects light. It can dispel the darkness from the void within a small radius. Mm -hmm. So, for example, with the power of the Bokuso box, you can turn monsters affected by the darkness back into their original forms. Right. As it happens, there are some monsters causing trouble around the camp. Go and try out the Bokuso box on them. I will join you shortly. Gotcha. Use this clue to clear a certain area in Ekonomia of the darkness's influence. The name Bokuso is formed from Boku, meaning to draw near what is good, and So, meaning to shun that which is tainted. I'm not gonna look at the tutorial because I think it's probably gonna tell me. Again, once I go to that location. Bokuso Box 1. Gameplay tutorial. In Lightless Enkonomia, some foes will be defended by the darkness and cannot be defeated by ordinary means. You can expend a certain amount of energy to use the Bakusa box and disperse the ages of Amnice and deal a certain amount of damage to such opponents. Ooh, Electro Res. Sorry, never heard of it. You're a good fighter. Oh, yeah. You bet. We were the ones who went and got the Blood Branch Coral that one time after all. <gasps> <gasps> You... So, you... Uh, is that, is that bad? What's wrong? <sighs> Nothing. <sighs> if what you say is true, then I'm sure you'll be able to conquer the three border towers quite easily. I don't know, she easily. sounded angry or something. Also, there are a few things I need to explain to you. Right. According to what I have read, the fundamental purpose of the Watatsumi Goryo Matsuri is to use the Serpent God's life force to awaken its second familiars, the Senga Coralia. Senga Coralia. They are creatures that break down raw, primitive elemental energy into the milder elemental energy of the human realm. The giant coral is a symbol that the Senga Coralia have been awakened by the serpent's blood. The mass awakening of the Senga Coralia causes a transformation in the ecological environment of Enkonomiya. Even if you took away the darkness and the monsters, Enkonomiya would still look pretty different now with all the new plants and ore around. Things are even more complicated than usual this time. The darkness from the Void Realm seems to be suppressing things in the Light Realm and the Human Realm, causing them to come to a standstill. Mm -hmm. You may need to use the power of the Bokuso Box to dispel the darkness and allow the ecological transformation to continue. Please. Try to solve the problem using the Bokuso box. I'll wait for an update for you under the statue over there. Gotcha. Bokuso box 2. While exploring in Konomi, you can expend a certain amount of energy to use the Bokuso box and disperse the darkness cling to challenge areas, treasure chests, and harvest items. As the Bokuso box is upgraded, it will become able to disperse more intense darkness. So. Boom! Oh. This is order! To ashes! Ooh, I'm so eager to face the shadow husks. Ooh. It is Primo Gem Chests. Hell yeah, baby. What's the whist? Holy Jesus! What is that? Ooh. It seems that you have mastered the Bokuso box. Now, well, that was pretty simple. Let me tell you about the ultimate purpose of this operation. Hey. As I said, we need to proceed to the three towers on Inkonomiya's borders. They're towers of the void, restored to their original form by a certain abyss adherent. Hmm? Abyss adherent? Wait, do you mean... Angel? He's a purveyor of incessant nonsense. Somehow he found out about the three realms and the three corners, and brought those things in using abyssal technology. Angel. Then he started disseminating abyssal energy using Ooh, the towers. This caused great suffering for both the Senga Coralia and the Bethysmal Bishops. I don't know why he's doing this. For us, the Abyss is highly toxic. For them, intoxicating is more the word. Addictive, but still destructive. Maybe he just likes to toy with people and stab them in the back. Paimon knows exactly who you're talking about. 
Sounds you know. exactly like Andrew. Then hmm. it seems we have a common enemy. Mm. Oh, you bet we do. To get rid of the darkness, you need to climb to the very top of the Towers of the Void and activate the Light Realm Chisel, which will let in the energy of the Light Realm. In Enkonomiya, the ley lines of the Human Realm, the elemental currents of the Light Realm, and the dark currents of the Void Realm are all exceptionally strong. Also, I only performed the Sento ceremony going off the steps in the book, but I believe the key to the ceremony is the statue in front of us. Mm. You can offer crystals of Light Realm energy to it to increase the Bokuso box's power. Also, resting here can restore the box's energy. Okay. Please, take this hand-drawn map. I've marked out the locations of the three towers for you. You'll need to explore one step at a time, and I'd recommend you start with this tower. One, two, three. Gotcha. Well... That's as much help as I can offer you. I'll be waiting here for the good news. While Enkonomia is covered in darkness, light realm sigils can be obtained by opening chests, unlocking waypoints, and completing exploration objectives. You may offer them up to the statue to upgrade the Bakusa box and strengthen its corrosion resistance and obtain various abilities that will help in exploration. Gotcha. Choose the recuperate option at the statue to clear the accumulated corrosion from nearby travelers and recharge the Bakusa box energy to full. You may also capture coral butterflies or touch light conscious to restore a small amount of energy for the Bakusa box. What is that? A watch out to me, Christopher. When you explore Dark and Enkonomia, you can also obtain Light Realm cores by opening luxurious chests. Each Light Realm core can be used at the Statue of the Vassal to activate any Bakusa art. The Bakusa art will help you explore and fight. Ah, cool. That is a uh, huh. That oh, is so God. much more. Uh, oh, and even more. Oh, more chests. Thank you. <laughs> Guiding lights. The Bakusa box can be used to activate the mechanisms in light rays of light. Can I turn? Can I rotate you? Oh, wow. Jeez, I'm so smart. A damaged stone slate. Oh, ooh, ooh, right, the Chris the the what what to me crystal flies. Oh they do give me cores. Thank you. Wow. Is your elevator broken? <laughs> illusory platforms. When you plus illusory platforms while equipping a Bokuso box that still contains energy, they will appear in you for you to step on. Uh... Wow. That must be the tower Tsumi was talking about. Uh. What do you mean? We can climb just about everything, Paimon. Don't doubt my skills. Oh. I am the Jibashiri Kurai. Are you here to help solve the problem of these small orbs of thunder? What problem is that? What do you need solved, see you? Ah yes, when I went into Narakami Island to conduct an exchange previously, I used a secret technique to capture some strange objects. I think the academic name for it is an electro Sealy or something. We fly all over the place and they numb all the people living here. It's quite vexing. I'll sort it out. <gasps> oh. There they are. Lance and a bow. Huh? The fact that you guys benefit from your opponents having a shield. Let's see how severe you guys are. Let's see. Are you as strong as they, th they say you are? Or... They're merely just exaggerating. Hmm? Well, whatever the case is, you guys are both dead, so, um... I'm not sure I can make a proper evaluation on your skill level. Sorry. 
Husk gem. A jewel that fell from the armor of a special shadowy husk after you defeated it. You can feel a will surging within it. Perhaps it might be more correct to say that this will manifest it itself through the armor rather than manipulating it. Oh, what the... This was not here before. Assemble the Tower of Voids. I'm sorry, how do I do that? Oh... I'm very smart. Easy. Easy. Come on. Let's Bob the Builder this thing. I'm reconstructing a building. Bakuso box. But the abyssal energy that was released when the towers connected doesn't seem to be disappearing. The darkness is infiltrating the land and causing changes in the surrounding area. We should go check it out if we have time. Ba da 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 Magic portal. Ooh. And I guess I need to rearrange that tower as well. Say no more. Oh, oh, it's you guys again. Hello. Hi, um, it's the flag person now. It'll take me less than 30 seconds to kill both of you. Let's say that, shall we? Alright, around 45 seconds. I'm a bit off there, but. Who cares? Uh, okay. Oh, there's the code. Must be the clue we're looking for. Um, it looks like some parts are missing. Yep. <laughs> no match for Paimon's greatest power. Process of elimination. <laughs> there we go. Easy. Done. They call me the Cold Breaker. Master Solver. So I was walking to the third spot, yeah, and then I came across um, the BTS of Hilly Trolls. Look at this thing. Um, the elevator is about to leave without me. Hold on, hold on. Oh, you bitch. Oh boy, look at you. It's that person again. Have a great time. There we go. Capiche. Easy. Capiche. Yep. Seems like there's no easy fix to get rid of the darkness. The surrounding area has changed again. But it'll be no big deal for us. Right? Day two. Before we do the main quest, okay, we're gonna talk to Yabe. You know, Yabe. Oh no, Yabe. Yabe. Remember those cracked stone plates? A damaged stone slate. Yeah. Hey, you're Goldine, aren't you? I'm not sure if you remember my name, but I'm Yabe. Well, hello, Yabe. Hello, hello, hee <laughs> hee. Speaking of which, you're quite the hotshot, aren't you? Taking on the Raiden Shogun first, and then braving the darkness of Enkonomia. Well, you could say that. So I have a lead on a certain treasure trove, but it will make for a dangerous trip. Are you interested? Though I've always been a fan of mysterious stuff, I prefer not to put myself in any great danger. Sound interesting. Tell me about it. So I found this when I was patrolling the Dainichi Mikoshi. What appears to be a mere stone slate, I believe it is the key to finding Bonkoku's secret treasure. Well, the name is all I know. 
as not many detailed accounts of Byakuya Koku have survived through Watatsumi's island's history. One version says that Bunkoku was the second prime minister in Byakuya Koku's history. He and the Sun Child bled the people white through heavy taxation and made a huge fortune. After that, he hid his treasure in a secret chamber inside Dainichi Mikoshi. Okay, he doesn't sound like a good person at all. Finally, he concealed the treasure chamber using the Sunfire Phantoms and summoned vengeful spirits and tainted beings from the ley lines to guard it. Bonkoku probably had an ancient sounding name, something like Tysius of sorts, but nobody would care to record the story of a despicable traitor in detail, so let's get back to the stone slate. Indeed, it is probably the key to unlocking Bonkoku's treasure chamber, according to my years of experience in Kaiden and Mystery Investigation. It reads, um, it's on the tip of my tongue. It won't hurt to be honest, you know. Actually, I found the slate in the storage room inside the Dainichi Mikoshi, and next to it lay a note that records both the ancient script and its translation. Oh. It seems that documents written in the transitory period all came with the translation alongside them. According to this note, the seal... The stone slates directly related to the Bunkoku puzzle. It also says that there are eight stone slates in total. So far, we've only recovered one. According to the according to the note, the secret chamber is in a nearby location. Could I trouble you to take a look there? I don't care about the treasure, to be honest. I'll be content as long as I get to see the Bunkoku puzzle through to the end. Oh, hey. Where's the... Oh. Oh. Hey, did you hear that? Seems there's some sort of strange noise coming from up there. It looks like there's strange markings on the ceiling over that way too. Let's go up there. Oh, okay, I actually need to go like up there. Never mind. I thought I needed to climb to the ceiling. Spider-Man stuff. Seems like this is the key to unlocking the treasure chamber. The stone slate fits right in. From the size of it, can it fill up a third of this space maybe? A ninth. Mm, ahem, that's what Paimon means. Anyways, you get the picture. So this means that we only need to place the other eight stone slates we find in here, right? The other seven. There are eight of them in total. Oh, you're so annoying. <laughs> Since we found all the stone slates, let's put them all inside. Oh. Oh, wow. We found them all. We found them all, guys. It's a puzzle. It's it's a puzzle. Oh, this is it. This is it. It's gotta be it, right? Let's let's go. Wow, that's a that's some ingenious engineering. I'm almost wondering how the secret chamber would open after we picked we pieced the slates together. Like, would there be a portal or a secret passage in stone wall or something? Turns out that pattern itself became the door. Doesn't this lead us back to the previous room below? Paimon doesn't think so. The giant hole just chugged open. It's definitely more than meets the eye. When Paimon thinks about it, Yabe did say that the chamber is concealed by the Sunfire's phantasms. Let's go down. Another one of those trickery illusion kind of things. Um. Yeah, this doesn't look the same at all. Koyonagi. That's weird. Where is he? That's a shade of Tokyo here. Could he be Bunkoku? Don't you dare take me for that despicable craven traitor. My name is Koyonagi. But since you know the name of Bunkoku, you didn't follow me here with ill intent, did you? It took my friend tons of reading and careful analysis to locate Bunkoku's secret treasure. By no means will I allow you to snatch it away from me. You're mistaken. We just uh, got down here by chance. Yep, it was up to pure luck. It was just pure luck, yes siree. Hmm. Then scrap. The thing that someone made it down here in the past. Did they beat us to the treasure? It's possible. No, no. 
Had they successfully found the treasure, then the Bunkoku puzzle what should have been solved long ago. It wouldn't have remained a mystery until today. What are you two murmuring about? N nothing. Anyway, let's keep investigating this place. So, oh. Wait, this is a final fragment. But why is there a ninth? And besides, where's Bunkoku's secret treasure? Hmm, let's fit. Let's see if it fits into the pattern upstairs later. Oh, is it like a trick? Like they, he makes people think that there's nothing there. Oh, has anything changed at all? Okay, hello, sir. Oh, it's your unlucky day. Is that it? Koenagi's after image. How? How could this be? What happened? I attacked my friend. How could I have? I must have been possessed by one of those vengeful spirits summoned by Bankaku. He must have controlled me. I mean, this treasure is nothing compared to our friendship. I'd never have been tempted to attack him over some petty pile of treasure. He trusted me so much that he even invited me here to witness the unveiling of Bunkoku's secret treasure. I... I would never do something like this. So the truth was concealed by the last fragment, huh? He needs some time alone. He does. Let's return and tell Yabe what happened. Hello, Ya... Ya... Yabe? <laughs> My name is Yabe. Oh, come on. Remember guy's name, would you? Don't tell me you've also forgotten what I asked you to help me with. Godin's just joking. We've uncovered the truth of Bangkoku's secret treasure. Tell Yabe what happened. So there really is a secret chamber concealed by the Sunfire Phantasms. But then something else happened along the way. And the chamber is guarded by vengeful spirits and tainted beings that can control people's minds. That's horrifying. I'm glad I didn't go with you. Were you scared that you might hurt us? I was more scared that you might give me, give me a good beating. Anyways, I'm content. But just a little frustrated, too. Strangely, thank you. Unfathomable though the puzzle appeared, everything adds up just fine when you consider the presence of elemental powers, and somehow that kinda kills the excitement. The Bunkaku puzzle has finally been cracked, and I'll be sure to let the whole world know once I get back. Happy to help, Yabe. Sumi, we did it! I can tell. It looks like all three towers have been successfully taken care You're of. You're very welcome, lady. The evacuation is now going much more quickly, thanks to the improved environmental conditions. Most of the soldiers have gotten out, but it seems nice. like something happened that I hadn't foreseen. Please, come with me. Uh, uh There's darkness churning inside the Dainichi Mikoshi! Oh. Logically speaking, all thoughts. of Inkanomiya should be back to normal by now. Unfortunately, this place has now become the most dangerous of all. I don't know why this is happening or what to do about it, but what I can tell you is the location of the guy behind all of this. I'm going to have to ask you to confront him and make him reveal his whole plan. Is it? It's Anjo. How did this happen? I've been observing the flow of the darkness and I've noticed something peculiar. And there was a faint vortex continuously absorbing the darkness. I can only assume that the flow must be triggered by his need for abyssal energy. He's extremely dangerous. Even most bishops would be no match for him. Don't worry, he's a gluten for punishment. Don't worry, I've been waiting for a chance to let loose on him. Music to my ears. Thank you. If I have deduced correctly, he should be in the library area right now. Library, there he is. That's Anja. I haven't seen you in a while, buddy. Oh, hey! I would say this is a nice surprise, but it's really not that surprising. Look at you, venturing out into the darkness, doggedly fighting your way through just to come and see me. <laughs> Angel's VA is nice. You're the only person I can think of who could Finally actually pull that off. Too. Still, what's with you joining forces with them? Didn't expect that. You're just trying to stall for time with small talk again. Huh. I guess maybe you're not so clued up after all. Uh, look, I understand that seeing me has gotten you a little agitated, but frankly, the fact that you're still so fired up and raring to go after the long journey here is a bit of a problem for me. 
Uh-huh. So, let's burn off that excess energy with a little exercise, huh? Just to calm you down enough to hear me out. Oh, okay. We're gonna beat your ass again. Weakling. Stop, stop. Oh, my life is flashing before my eyes. <gasps> oh, then I'm not finished just yet. That woman with the slender pupils, what does she call herself? Sumi. Huh? How do you know about her? Her name, what is it? Huh. She calls herself Sumi. <laughs> that reptilian seems to be doing a pretty good job of human imitation. Reptilian. Makes sense, doesn't it? The Bethysmal Bishops are a highly intelligent and fast-evolving kind. There have been legends about this for over a thousand years now. The Wait. Bishop people. I'm sorry, what? Right, I read about I read about this in the Byakuya Koku library logs. Something about this came up. I didn't think it was with Sumi. Bishop people? Sounds like the kind of nickname Paimon comes up with all the time. Well, this one comes from an old Ankanomian legend. When the Bethysmal bishops were defeated, they began evolving to survive. That is to say, they imitated the victors. Uh -huh. Eventually, this gave rise to a line of bishops who were indistinguishable from humans except for their pupils. These were the bishop people. The story goes that they gradually infiltrated in Kanomiya and took over many high-ranking positions. Remind you of anyone? We did hear that Sumi's pupils are vertical. Yep. In good lighting, you can see that Reptile's pupils are thin, vertical lines. That's hard evidence that she's betrayed you right there. But she hasn't done exactly. She is just using you to get revenge on me. I mean, I betrayed them first. What? Right. I formed an alliance with the bishops. I said I'd plunge all of Enkanomiya into darkness so they could send their elites into the Dainichi Mikoshi and rescue their captive kin. In return, they'd allow the Abyss Order safe passage through their territory and help me rebuild the Three Towers. But they didn't know that the darkness of the Abyss was a terrible poison to elemental beings. So, they thought you had betrayed them? I mean, I totally did betray them. <laughs> to be fair, it'd be like, pretty humiliating for the Abyss Order if we unleashed the power of the Abyss on them and they were just frolicking around the way with no he side says effects. Things. The way he says things, so... You are pure evil! <sighs> well, here's where we are now. You don't seem too disturbed, Once she's Azumi. done with you, she'll use the power of the Dainichi Mikoshi to suppress the Sanga Coralia and create darkness to protect the bishops. Really, though? They're probably diving down into the depths to rescue their imprisoned companions as we speak. It won't be long before the source of Blood Branch Coral is completely cut off. Uh, poor Bethysmal Bishops. But still. If you still want to save Watatsumi Island, you're gonna have to hurry. You can use the mechanism I left behind to guide the light and dispel the darkness in the Dainichi Mikoshi. We don't believe a single word that comes out of your mouth! Now what else do we have to go on then, Paimon? Oh, come on, guys. Do you honestly have another choice? This is just another fruitless trip to Enkonomiya for me at this point. But, no biggie. I'm just no a biggie. marginal figure in the Order. Unlike those who are falling over themselves to serve our highness, I'm interested in more uh. inconsequential things. Ooh, yikes. I think I'm all out of time here. I'd better go. I would say, see ya. But <laughs> I probably won't. See ya. Here. I've got a parting gift for you. It's something I picked up at the Dainichi Mikoshi. Oh, need this car. Oh! This looks like part of the same set as the one that Kokomi gave us. But uh, wait, now's not the time for that. Oh, Paimon's so angry, he got away again. Can't trust that guy. He it's like the last time, like, if he wasn't there, so, let's go back we, to we probably wouldn't have... First of all, we probably wouldn't have unlocked Enkonomi in the first place, and now 
maybe we wouldn't receive this piece anyway, but on the off chance that we don't, this would have been the only chance that we get it, and it was from him again. I, I don't know, I feel it's so I feel so conflicted. Like he seems like a cherry dude. I don't get why he's part of the Abyss Order. I I really don't. Oh, okay. Wow, great timing. Oh, no. Sumi's gone. We couldn't have missed her on the way here. Why does it always end like this? Uh, come on, it's okay. Don't be sad. On the bright side, most of the soldiers have been successfully evacuated. If any bishops did come through here just now, at least no one will have gotten hurt. Even though. Just thinking about that guy drives Paimon nuts! It seems we've got no choice but to give what he said a shot. Let's get some light in here. For what in the world? More? This must be the mechanism he mentioned. But how do we reach it? Um, elevators, apparently. Sweet. Thank you for fucking goddamn it. Illusory stairways. Use the Bakugo box near the illusory stairways to create. Ooh. Oh, 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 thank you. Ooh. How does it work? Since it has something to do with light, maybe the Bakugo box should be able to. That's what I was thinking too. Easy. That should be it. Right? A sky beam. I'm on shock. It actually worked. For once he didn't lie to us. Technically speaking, he's never really lied to us. Well, maybe with his sneaky way of explaining things, he doesn't have to. Why does Paimon feel like you two have reached some sort of mutual understanding? That is not okay! The Dainichi and Mikoshi should be accessible again now. Let's get down there and see! In that line, I'm not going to be fooled by this. This is order. Line for feet. Let me weave you. Back off. What the bro? Oh my god, damn. Stabilize. What is what is the what do you what do those do? Stabilize. Oh my god. Okay, okay. Okay, they're close to both dying. So stabilize. All right, first time. It seems like the baby bishops aren't here anymore. Guess they got rescued. Good for them. I'm on return to the Dani Jimikoshi above. It's oh, Sumi. Sumi. Uh, what is she doing in front of the Dani Jimikoshi? <sighs> Since you came back, I'm curious to know. Did our rescue operation succeed? Some baby bishops were rescued before we got there, but the old and weak bishops went back in the water to hide after we defeated the elites. Um, Sumi. Are you really a bishop Oh, well, okay. Person? We already just set this. I have no intention of explaining anything. 
Although I can communicate with you, I know all too well that interaction with humans okay, can only whoa. end in betrayal. Why do you sound so hostile? The now? conflict between our two kinds will go on forever. I'm sorry. Before I leave, I'm going to destroy this light. You think you have what it takes? Do not come any closer, and don't even think about trying to sneak up on me. I'm sure that's not our intention. This tower seems to hear my wishes. I just need to think the thought, and it will change its brightness. And if I so desire, it will collapse before me. With the cognitive equivalent yeah. of a click of the fingers, I could destroy this source of great pain for the bishops. So why... why can't I do it? Oh no. This is way more serious than losing access to the Blood Branch Coral. What are we gonna do? Sumi, do you recognize these? Sumi, these are for you. It's... Sumi remembers her pendant. She combines it. Oh! It's a pendant! In the shape of... Are those three entwined snakes? This pendant has been with me for as long as I can remember. Why does it fit with your two pieces? I think deep down you already know the answer. Don't be ridiculous. Are you trying to say that... That I... That you... Paimon doesn't understand! This one is Kokumi's, this one is from the Dainichi Mikoshi, and Sumi's has been with her all along! <sighs> you belong to the Watasumi Island. I grew up with the bishops. My only possessions were this pendant and a few boxes of books. I learned human language and writing from them, but not long after that... And Konomiya was left without a single human being. It became completely empty. Only recently did I finally have the chance to make contact with humans and, and learn what the things I'd read in the books really meant. Sumi... There's a saying in your human books that I never understood until right now. People belong where they are born, but creatures belong where they are fed. I am a bishop, not a human. So I'm going back to where I belong. I guess the Dianichi Mikoshi isn't my concern. But we'll be back one day. You're just leaving? Sumi is gone. Why did she suddenly change her mind in the end? Maybe Kagomi knows. Right! Kokomi will have definitely anticipated this possibility. That the would art be of war! You're back. The soldiers briefed me about what happened. You successfully worked with a shrine maiden named Tsumi to clear the darkness. But then there was an unexpected change at the Dainichi Mikoshi. Is that so? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's right. But after that is where things started to get all kinds of weird. You tell Kokomi what had happened. Really? Uh, sorry, Kokomi. Paimon feels kind of bad that we ended up giving your pendant away. There's no need to apologize. As I said, Watatsumi Island has no further need for it. It's a relic from back in the very beginning when the Watatsumi Omikami reorganized the court and reformed Enka no Miya. The three pendants were given to the Dainichi Mikoshi, the Sangonomiya line, and the vassals of Watatsumi. The original intention was that the common folk, the officials, and the divine vassals would all hold each other accountable. But today, only the common folk have flourished, while the other two bloodlines have declined. <sighs> so the pendant is of little use anymore. Funny you should say vassals. One of the soldiers seemed to think that Sumi was one of those. But actually, her vertical pupils meant that she was a reptile. She fooled us all. That's not true. Vassals of Watatsumi typically take on a half-human, half-snake form. Symbolizing that they are the familiars of our serpent god. At least, they used to. Over time, so the vassals gradually fish? became identical I... to humans. What? All except for the pupils of their eyes. But Vishap people and reptilians, they're pure fiction. There is no evidence for their existence anywhere among Sangonomiya's classified documents. They were written in Byakuya Koku's logs. 
for books. Oh, so Tsumi isn't actually a bishop? I'm so confused. The Watatsumi Omikami exhausted its power to create Watatsumi Island. And after that, it grew weaker and weaker. No more vassals of Watatsumi were born after that. But the records do mention the very last of the vassals. All our hopes were placed onto her. She was going to be the one who could communicate between the bishops and the humans. But when she was just an infant girl, she and her guardian shrine maiden were attacked by bishops at the border of Enkanomiya. Okay, so maybe she, she's a vassal that was taken in by the bishops. Most believe she died that day, but some believe she was raised by the bishops. The people of Watatsumi owe a great debt of gratitude to the vassals of Watatsumi. Now that the bishops and Watatsumi Islanders no longer have a territorial dispute, I sincerely hope that she will find her way to where she belongs. Wherever that is for her. What a story! Mm. Still, now that we know how Blood Branch Coral works, I as Divine Priestess of Sangonomiya I need to think of a new way to counteract the holy soil phenomenon. For the time being, however, the issue is resolved. And all thanks to you, Watatsumi Island will be at peace for many You're decades welcome, good to come. Girl, I can't thank you enough. Don't mention it. Completes a photic diffusal. And that's it. Is it going to open the event page now? Nope, it's not.